because he would have gotten to Joey Logano much sooner. Now it's going to be sort of a desperation move. And, and will he be aggressive enough to move Joey Logano if he gets there? Well, and if he does, have the opportunity. And if he does, Denny Hamlin's in the stealing seat right where Kyle Busch was in the Busch clash. Sitting third, far enough back that if the leaders have trouble, he won't be part of it. But he could capitalize. You see that plan to drive off going away from the 22 car, Joey Logano. We saw the 20 of Christopher Bell really gain on him on the exit of turn three. If you're Joey Logano, you got to be careful. The thing I've seen the most out of him and his teammate Brad Keselowski is locking these front tires up, getting into the corner. Right. Make sure you don't make a mistake and hand this thing to him. And some of it, I'm seeing some, some raindrops on our camera. Oh, he got loose right there. And they're both sliding. Off. Yeah. I think it might. Not only his tires worn out, it's a little wet down there. I agree. Because the 20 car took off for the front, and as much as the 22 spun the tires with the rear. Bell has a run off NASCAR 2, and at the end of that back stretch, awaits the bus stop. The There's the brakes. He brakes exactly the like the 12 car had in the Bush Clash. Ryan Blaney had a struggle, could not slow the car down, gave the 9 car Chase Elliott an opportunity. Last lap. So that's metal on metal be under careful, braking. Joey. Joey Logano. Man, the same block. It. This might be way more aggressive a block. He's there. Christopher Bell is there. What's Joey going to do down here in this chicane? Oh, man, I think he's got him. No, not so. Does. Logano doesn't have the brakes to hold off Bell. White flag, one lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. And Joe Logano is saying, what do I got to do? He's well, gonna he's, he's going to show Christopher Bell. You can see the brakes just glowing red hot in the 22 car. Missed the corner right there. It's smoking as well. Them brakes are hot. Fifteen drivers got their first career win on a road course. The last to do it, Chase Elliott, 2018 at Watkins Glen. Missed the corner pretty bad right there. Yep. Yeah, he's just got to take a breath right now. He's gapped the 22. Easier. He's got a better race car. He's just got to take a breath and not overdrive this car right now. Easier said than done. He's, just he's on fire, too. Them brakes are hot. Trying to get away from Joey Logano. We talked about it in the pre-race show, Jeff. That infield is such a tight thing. You're always constantly on the brakes, not giving him a chance to cool off until you get off the six, finally getting that long straightaway. So now Bell will have a little, about a mile to let those brakes cool before he has to get hard on the binders for the bus stop, which might be Logano's last chance. If he completes this, of oh. all the tracks I would have picked for Christopher Bell to get his first cup win, this is the last one I thought it would come at. Well, he's definitely one you had your eye on. He knew the opportunity that was ahead of him. He was longing for this opportunity, asking for it. He got it, and look at this. Christopher Bell running a time trial lap here to secure this victory. Logano now 1.8 seconds back. Adam Stevens on the pit box. For Christopher Bell who comes out of the final chicane and in his 38th start. Christopher Bell scores his first career win, and it comes on the Daytona Road Course. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Great job, Adam. Great job, Pickering. Holy smoke. I'm so proud of you, Christopher Bell, for the work you put in. Proud of all you guys, the work you put in. It's going to be a fantastic year and many more after that, man. Uh, proud to tears, man. Proud to tears. No burnouts. I hate to tell you, we got to save that motor. No burnouts. Oh, <laughs> my first win, no burnout, Jeff. Hey, man, take that trophy. Well, they have to use that engine in, what, at least one